look at them. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna lick the bulb and see if it, yep. <laughs> yep, that one's good. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. This is Troy with DIY Home and Auto. <clears throat> Today's goal on the 79 Ford is to get it road worthy. Um, Tavish is leaving here in about three weeks for Santiago, Chile for two years, uh, as you saw in a previous episode. And his girlfriend's coming into town from California. It's the one that he keeps going and visiting. Uh, he's pretty enamored by her. Um, they want to use this to go on a couple of dates, date night, they're going to go to the drive-in movie, I mean, those type of nostalgia things. Um, and they want to use the 79 Ford for that. So in order to do that, we've, we've got it licensed for the road. Here in Utah, um, a classic vehicle is fairly easy to register. Didn't have to have any inspections or anything on it. Um, the problem is, I've got to get brake lights, turn signals, those type of things on this so that they can use it. So that's the goal for today. So wish me luck and let's get started. I got quite a few suggestions for how to fix the turn signal issue. Um, we already replaced the switch mechanism that you saw in a previous episode. Um, so I know that everything inside of there is okay. It's everything behind that. Um, people have been saying that to clean the, the grounding leads on the instrument cluster. So I'm going to pull that out, um, inspect all the wiring behind there. It's probably going to be a mess. I mean, I've got wires that are clipped down in there. You probably can't see that one, but a green with a black stripe is cut. And I believe that one of my wife's uncles replaced that one because I see something come through the front. A green one was cut and then a red one was put in its place. So I'm sure that there's been some wiring issues under here. Part of the brake light issue is also right there. That's the uh, actual press to make the light work mechanism. Oh look, and Tavis just got home. He got called into work today, but he's back. So now I have a helper, so that's even better. But anyway, let's get that instrument cluster out and see what's going on. Tavish is working on getting the seat covers off. He ordered a new seat cover to go over it. The bench seat on the bottom is kind of destroyed. Top one's actually not too bad, except for right there in the middle, it's kind of cracking. And then all across the top. But we're gonna get him doing a deep clean on the interior of this thing, so it's presentable for a girl. A girl named Shelby, no less. <laughs> This is a dusty job. Pull harder, pull harder. Nailed it. Seat covers are out. Time for a deep clean. Cinderella.
now is pounding the bench seat to get all the dust out of it. Like the old school method of getting dust out of a rug. You just basically beat it with a stick out and outside. We put a fan in so it would blow all the dust out the other direction. <laughs> He's wearing it. Oh, that is really dusty. So I figured out why one of the bulbs isn't working. If you can see down in there how corroded that is. Nasty and gross. Yep. That will keep an electrical current from passing, that's for sure. Bulb actually doesn't look too bad. Just kind of clean up the spots that are contacting. Just if nothing else to test. So let's see your progress. I can get the camera to show it very well. We probably should have done a before and after. I mean, there's a before on that side. Oh well, yeah, there you go. That is nasty. <laughs> You definitely don't want to eat off of that floor. <laughs> but this side is looking shiny new. Eventually we're going to replace the carpet in here. We're going to reupholster. We're going to do those things. But Tavish bought a new seat cover. <clears throat> we're going to get him some floor mats just to kind of make it nice for when his girlfriend's here and they're cruising around town and such. So that's the plan. That's what we're doing. Somebody tried to wire this for a trailer light. That's what it's looking like. The problem that I've got is I discovered that when the battery is connected, my parking lights are on when the lights are turned off. <clears throat> you turn the lights on and the parking lights go off. So to me that's saying that my ground is backwards or something. Something is not quite right. I need to see what color goes to what back here. But anyway, I'm going to do some discovering and then we'll turn the camera back on. And hopefully I've figured out exactly what's going on and I can explain it. Alright, so what I've decided to do, I found out <clears throat> which one is providing power, which one's the ground. Um, I'm just going to cut these off so that I have a little bit of wire left that I can splice against. And then we're literally doing trial and error until we get this right. So I'm going to have to have Tavish push on the brakes, turn the lights on and off, those type of things while I put a voltmeter on stuff and see which ones are passing power <clears throat> and which ones need power to turn the lights on and off. So I got to go to the store, get some stuff to splice with, some new electrical tape so that I can clean it all back up when I'm done. But that's where we're at. So my YouTube buddy, uh, JP from PC Goblin, uh, texted me today and said that he ordered a present for my channel. And it just barely showed up. That was the Uber driver dropping it off. Or not Uber. <laughs> It's not the Uber driver, it's the Amazon delivery it. driver. And uh, he bought me a light, LED, I'm sure it changes colors and all sorts of stuff. He sent me pictures of the one that he uses. So that's awesome. Thanks JP. Everybody go check out JP's channel. I'll put a link down below. That's awesome. It's nice having cool friends. We'll have to set that up and play with it. Got it. You're going to be able to get it back in. <laughs> I mean, probably. Alright, so a real quick update. Um, we took the turn signal apart. And when we pulled it out, it's missing the entire back half of it where the bulb mounts. Inside that bulb was, uh, or back behind the backing of it, was corroded real bad. <clears throat> we finally got that um, cleaned up enough that it makes good contact and we'll show you that that works here in just a second. We took that one apart. Go ahead and turn the lights on again. Do the turn signals. We took that one apart, cleaned it, put it back together as well. That one was actually working, but it was dim. So there's the one turn signal. Okay, now the other way. And we have a flashing bulb there too. So this is now working. Let's go show you what's happening at the back. 
All right, so Tavish is gonna do some light finagling for us. All right, so put that back in. So do a, a turn signal to the left. We have a turn signal to the left. Do to the right. It's dim, and that's what we're troubleshooting next, is that one's just not getting full power for some reason. I think the bulb might be in wrong and backwards, and I'll show you what I mean by that. Uh, hit the brake pedal. We have brake, light, real strong on this side, dim on this side again. Okay, that's good. So, Tavish is taking this one apart so that we can see what how the bulb goes in it. Go ahead and pull that lens out. And then to get these out, you just spin that like you're loosening it, and then it pops out. So now grab a hold of that bulb. You have to push in and then twist. Make sure you push in. Of the bulb? Yep. Or this thing? Nope, the bulb. Yep. All right, and then so if you look at these older bulbs, this might be really hard to see. I'll see if I can get a good shot of it. On the barrel of the bulb are two little nubbies. One is higher up, one is towards the base farther. I guess the base would be down, but you get it, right? One is higher up, one is lower down. And that matters. The, the reason that's on there is so that you can tell which one goes which direction. If you have that bulb in backwards, then the smaller filament is getting the power at the wrong time and so your lights will be dim and I'm pretty sure that that's what we have going on in this one. So Tavish is just kind of cleaning those connectors to make sure we have a good strong connection and I think we're actually going to replace the bulb just so that we know that the bulb isn't the problem too. You can clean the little nubbies down at the bottom as well um, but this one actually looks pretty good but we're going to replace it anyway with a 1157 is the bulb number for both the front and the back turn signal. So 1157. So how do I know? So if you if you look down in there, you'll be able to see the column that it goes down in. So that one looks like it's the farther one down the barrel. That one should be that one. And if you look at this one, yeah. it should be higher up. So you push, then, you push it all the way in so it seats, and then you'll twist it back just a hair. Make sure it's down all the way in, and then you'll twist it like it's tight. Okay. Yep. Another one? No, nope, leave that one. That one, we, we haven't even tested these. Those are your reverse lights. So let's, let's hit your brake pedal and see what happens. Let's see if it's bright. Oh yeah, that is much better. So it was either, well, now we don't know. Was it the bulb? Or was it that he cleaned it? Or was it in backwards? We, we don't care, but it works. So those, those are the three things that could be wrong. Your connectors could be dirty, so you're not getting a full signal strength through it, or full strength signal. Two, it could be the bulb, something wrong with the bulb. Or three, you have the bulb in backwards and it's not getting the full. Hey, Marco! <laughs> That's my buddy Marco up the street. This one too. No, oh, that one works good. We're gonna leave it. So let's let's test your reverse lights. How about that? So with this one, the key has to be in the on position, and then just flip it down into reverse. And we got nothing. Oh wait. Oh nope, that's a reflection from the other bulb. Got nothing on the reverse. Okay. Let's pull those apart and see what we got to do there. It's a different bulb number for that one. I'll see if I can find out what bulb number that one is. But let's get our reverse lights working. That actually, I'm not even too worried about that. It's not critical. We've got all the safety things figured out. We got side markers. Those are all working. We're adding this lens to our shopping list. We're gonna do some shopping here in a second. Tavish has been working super hard, earning a bunch of money, and he wants to put some money into his truck. So we're gonna shop, we're gonna buy, see if I can remember all the things. We need a washer, tank, and some of the little fittings. We're gonna get the hose local just because why pay shipping for a hose when you can just get one local. 
Um, we're getting new washer arms as well, just so that they're pretty. And we'll get the wiper blades local. No reason to ship those in. We can get those local at a parts store. What else? Thinking, thinking. Oh, you know what we're actually going to do at some point? We're going to do uh, long tube headers. Maybe short tube headers. But we're going to do headers on there. See if we can wake this engine up just a little bit more. Still need to tune it. The carburetor is just set. I, I basically just set the air fuel mixture screws. I closed them all the way and then opened them two full turns on each. There's, this is a two barrel carb, so there's two screws. I think I need to screw those in just a little bit. It's running a little too rich. Uh, we backfire a little bit, so uh, we're gonna tune that. I'd like to get headers. Tavish is gonna get some uh, floor mats just to kind of make everything nice and neat. We're doing some cleaning inside of here. He's ordered a bench seat cover. So we're gonna do that. I've got old tires to get rid of. We're gonna take those to uh, one of the local tire shops and we're gonna have to pay to get rid of those. Make sure you're, you're responsible when you do that. Don't just throw those things out somewhere. That's, that's called littering and don't be irresponsible. Don't do dumb stuff. But then, well, and that trick didn't work, huh? Okay, um, you can actually look at the bulbs sometimes and tell if they're burned out. Look at them. Look at them. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna lick the bulb and see if it, yep. <laughs> yep, that one's good. <laughs> what the heck's wrong with you? <laughs> I, I don't know, maybe it was like a battery thing. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. You're just like lick in there and <laughs> Oh, zing! <Yeah. laughs> Stick your tongue in there, see if it's working. That's hilarious. Hey, you know what, we have a voltage meter. Let's test that out. The key's on, right? Yeah. Okay, because the key has to be on. <laughs> now it's on? No. Well, the bulb's not there, but this one's not on. But you took that bulb out. Well, you wanted to stick your tongue in it, I heard. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> Still nothing. Yeah. Oop. All right, so we're gonna do some troubleshooting on the reverse lights. I, that's actually not critical. I, I mean, yeah, you want people to know if you're in reverse and backing up, but just don't be dumb when you're driving. You'll be fine. All right, we got some wiring conduit so we can clean up the wiring under here, make it look all pretty, get it wire tied up out of the way so we don't run into an issue. But I've also got some bare wire from where uh, one of my wife's uncles, it looks like he wired it for trailer. Actually, it would be where we cut the bed from, because that didn't come from family, that came from another source. So. Anyway, <clears throat> got bare wires to take care of, and then get this thing buttoned back together. So how convenient that it's getting dark and my buddy JP sent a light. I pulled it out, didn't charge it or anything, just stuck the battery on it and boom, we have a light. So that's pretty awesome. Thanks JP. Oh sheesh. Yeah. Woo. Hello. <laughs> so how you doing? Um, we still got our dash torn apart. Tavish ordered LED lights for the uh, illumination of all the dash 
Um, we're going with red to stick with the theme of uh, Midnight Maroon. So he's cleaned the floor. The floor looks pretty good. Now that it's dry, it looks worse, but it's fine. I mean, it looks way better than it did before, though. Way better than it did before, for sure. Uh, that looks pretty good. You're going to need to do another yeah, coat on it. Yeah, I have to keep doing sure. it. It looks it's better when it's It's pretty wet. darn thirsty, so it's going to soak it up pretty good. But even the dash itself is looking good. Mm -hmm. Floor's looking good. I mean, Seat's these, got big tears in it. I mean, they're not too bad. Better than I thought. Yeah, they'll actually work pretty good. But We'll get a cover on it and we'll make it even all the more nicer. But anyway, hey, there's my keys. This is Tavish and Troy at DIY Home and Auto. Checking out for this video and we'll uh, check back in when we get things more dialed in on this. You do have to do something with that muffler that's hanging way down there. Maybe next time. And next video. And bleed the brakes. Do you want to do that in this video? And we got to bleed the brakes. So that's it for today's video. Be sure and like and subscribe. Ring that bell so that you get notified of any upcoming videos. And we're going to be bleeding the back brakes again in an upcoming video. Those were super spongy and we needed to get those things fixed. But um, Also, pick yourself up a Don't Do Dumb Stuff t-shirt. I'm sporting my new one today. Link is available down below and we appreciate your support. Also, you can follow the hashtag Midnight Maroon, so hashtag Midnight Maroon on Instagram, where you'll get some sneak peeks, what the truck looks like today. We're a little bit behind in the editing of the videos, um, so we've made a lot of progress on the truck, and you'll be able to see what it looks like currently as we slowly try to catch up on the video editing content. Be sure and follow along. Appreciate your support. My channel's growing and I appreciate the success. Um, and I know it's because of uh, the viewers, viewers like you. So be sure and like and subscribe. Um, share the video with other people who have interest in trucks and rebuilding and resto mod. I mean, all of those kind of things. So again, I appreciate your support. This is Troy with DIY Home and Auto. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks, guys.